Dara recruited his ever-willing wife, Melody, and her mom, and took off with their plan. Other challenges presented, however, as they had no means of transport and had to depend on the goodwill of neighbors to deliver the food or dip into meager resources to pay taxi fare. Eventually, they decided to have the children go to their home for lunch. So now each day, the children congregate at Dara's home. They get a hot meal, a cool drink, some lessons in table manners. Of course, the children are also encouraged to stay in school, as one of Dara's criteria for being in the feeding program is that the children must be enrolled and attending. Dr. Beatriz is quite the powerhouse. She works from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. as an anesthesiologist at the KHMH each day and then starts her palliative care after. The visits to see patients often take her and the other volunteers across the country at their own cost. And much of the work is done in the evenings and on weekends, as most of the volunteers have full-time jobs and other responsibilities. The emotional toll of this work is very high, and Dr. Abertus reminds her volunteers that due to the nature of their work, they will eventually be losing patients, both young and old. No patient is ever turned down, and there is always someone else who needs care. The nature of her work may seem very clinical, but as Dr. Abertus pointed out during her interview, Palliative care is not simply about easing the pain of a suffering person, but more importantly, it serves to preserve their dignity and to help them understand that they are loved and will be cared for when they need it most. <laughs>